Hi, my name is Salman Hashmi. As you know, we, we are an investigative reporter and we specialize in fraud and uh, we go all over the world to cover this issue. So we have got a lovely friend today. She's a lawyer and a very young lawyer. And would you like to tell your name, please? Sure, my name is Iman Hazari Hassan. All right. So Iman, would you like to call her Iman? Yeah. yeah. All right. So Iman, would you tell that uh, on, a, on a law that uh, people have got so many complaints about Supreme Court, you know? Every time, everything go down to Supreme Court, mm -hmm. all right? And the decisions are not getting good. Mm -hmm. So people get angry, like TLP, mm -hmm. and so many issues I put down on the list. So what do you think that as a lawyer, uh, what do you say that the society can be corrected by the Supreme Court or by the culture? I think the main issue actually is that when you have an institutional imbalance of power, as a result of that, all your civilian institutions, which also include the courts, they have been damaged beyond repair. So in order to restore some balance in society, you need to restore the balance between the institutions. At this time, there's one institution that is wielding excessive power and has all the resources. Yeah, and as you know that the big giants, what happened, uh, as per our investigative report, <coughs> the Supreme Court judge, when he getting about to retire, mm -hmm. he called the big shots mm -hmm. cases, mm -hmm. which has never been heard, mm -hmm. like Malak Riyaz, like Nestle, like big, big things. Mm -hmm. So they call in the, you know, the civil society, they usually say that Supreme Court judge is making money mm -hmm. on the back side. Mm -hmm. So how can we make that image right? Because for the last 20 years, they never listened to the case. But the moment some financial activity mm -hmm. or we don't know you know we don't want to put any blame on that but the society is talking like that i you think see? more than financial misconduct the main issue is um, a lack of will to okay. hear certain cases and to give judgments beyond okay. declarations because what often happens is when you take a case to these courts they give a declaration which is like reading you know an article in the newspaper but those things are not enforceable nor are they complied with and why the women are not sitting as a judge in supreme court because it's a boys club and they don't want women there. my god my god that's a very sad story as you know in london the when we go down to uh, the boys club you know over there they don't like women yeah. to be judged it's like that in the supreme yeah court. because i've been trained over there and i'm very shocked to listen that that in pakistan the same is that yeah. so would you like to give the message to the um, establishment? We want the women judges to become along and to talk on the um, on the social. And we need women judges if, to interpret the law from a female perspective, especially laws relating to sexual violence. Which yes. Male judges don't have that lived experience. And you know the last and the uh, last question I want to ask you is: uh, Don't we get prejudice? Because you know the women in the society mm. presently Pakistan is mm. getting too many um, uh, divorces. You see. So on that, uh, men are also getting them. Yeah, the, the 15,000 as per the record, 15 or 16,000 divorces every month, you know. So uh, if the women judges are here, how can we correct the society, you know, on that point? Too many divorces, children are going like that. I think that. too many divorces are um, a reflection of the fact that now women are less willing to stay in marriages that are abusive. Uh, and in marriages where they are not respected. So to me, the rising divorce rates are not indicative of uh, something that needs to be looked at as a problem. But you know, from a man's side, that women are, they are cashing men as well. You know, that's very bad. I don't know, I haven't seen cases like that. I deal with a lot of family cases, and I usually represent women. And what I've seen is that there's a lot of character assassination that is done of women, um, and you know things like that. So then it's very difficult for women to go, you know, even in court. It's a very difficult and hostile environment. Anything you want to say of forensic eyes? Uh, we have got a newspaper established in Pakistan, as well as a small channel. But we are, we our heroes are not big guys. Our heroes are normal, you know, citizens. So do you want to say any word for our channel? I would just like to say that I think we need to keep up the struggle for rule of law and for democracy in Pakistan which has been extremely under threat in the last many many decades but more so in the last three years. We are very proud to be see a Pakistani talk very nice. God bless you. All right, take care. Thanks.